Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be covering what is natural language processing that is NLP, applications of NLP, spectrum of natural language and then I will explain what are NLP challenges and how NLP understand a sentence with an example. I will explain all these topics in detail. Guys, I have uploaded complete NLP subject tutorials. I will provide that link. In description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. It first will explain what is natural language processing. Yes, natural language processing is one of the part of artificial intelligence that helps computers understand, read and respond in human language like English, Hindi, Telugu, etc. Yes, normally computers understand only binary language that is nothing but zeros and ones. But with NLP, computers can understand human language and reply in the same way that is nothing but Computer will understand human language and computer will reply in human language. Natural language and human language both are same. This is simple example of NLP. Just for example, I will open Google and then I will type what is the capital of India. Whenever I type what is capital of India in Google, Google will give me answer that is New Delhi. It is happened because of NLP. Whenever I type any textual sentence in Google in any language, Google will understand it using NLP. So Google will understand our sentence and then Google will reply to our sentence using NLP. Without NLP, Google cannot understand what we are asking. Now you understood what is natural language processing. Natural language means language which we speak like Telugu, Hindi, English etc. And processing means how computers understand, read and speak in human languages. Next I will explain applications of NLP. Applications mean where we will use NLP in real life. We will use NLP in voice assistants like Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant, etc. For example, I will open my iPhone and then I will say, Hey Siri, call dad. Then automatically Siri will call to my dad. It is happened because of NLP. And second one is chatbots. For example, if you consider any website, in any website, there will be customer support option. Instead of employees chatting with us, automatically robot will chat with us. Robot will understand our problem and then robot will give response to our problem in our language. It is happened because of NLP. And third one is Google Translates. Guys, by using Google Translator app, we can change one language to other language. For example, we can convert English to Telugu, Telugu to English, English to Hindi, etc. And all these translator apps work based on NLP. And fourth one is Spelling Checker. Guys, there are various kinds of spelling checking apps and softwares available. By using that apps and softwares, we can correct the grammar and as well as spelling mistakes. And all the spelling checking apps and softwares work based on NLP. And fifth one is search engine. Guys, in search engine, we can search for information. Example, Google. Whenever we type any textual sentence in Google, Google will understand that with the help of NLP. So, we'll use NLP in search engines. And sixth one is sentiment analysis. The sentiment analysis means computer will understand our feelings, whether it is positive feeling or negative feeling. So, by seeing our messages or reviews, computer will automatically understand whether it is positive or negative with the help of NLP. And seventh one is text to speech and speech to text conversion. Yes, computers will automatically convert voice to text or text to voice using natural language processing. And eighth one is email spam filter. Gmail will automatically detect spam mails and place them in one folder using NLP. All these are various applications of NLP. That is nothing but where we will use NLP in real life. Next I will explain spectrum of natural language. Yes, spectrum mean range or levels from easy to hard. Natural language mean language which we speak like Telugu, Hindi, English, etc. And natural language is not always simple. The way women speak is complicated. Some sentences are easy for a computer to understand and some sentences are difficult for a computer to understand. So, spectrum of natural language means different type of sentences that can be easy, medium or hard or very hard for computers to understand using NLP. These are various levels. First one is easy level. We'll use simple command like turn off the light. So computer need not to find any answer for this command. Computer will simply understand the sentence and then computer will turn off the light. And second one is medium level. Whenever we give any questions to computer, computer need to understand that question and then computer need to search for answer. For example, I will search for who is the chief minister of Telangana in Google. So Google will take some time in order to search answer. And then Google will give us correct answer. And third one is hard level. For example, if you consider any poems or deep meanings, 
it is very hard for computer to understand poems and deep meanings for example i will say to computer life is a journey of dreams and this is poem computer cannot understand full meaning because computer cannot understand emotions or hidden meanings which are present in the sentence so computer cannot understand full meaning and fourth one is sarcasm for example if you speak anything in sarcastic way computer cannot understand it as yes, for example one person is not doing job properly so i will say wow great job in sarcastic manner actually i am insulting that person but computer will think it as good comment but actually it is bad one so sarcasm is very hard for computer to understand this is all about spectrum of natural language spectrum in levels from easy medium hard to very hard next i will explain why nlp is challenging guess with help of nlp computers can understand human language still nlp is difficult because human language is complex full of meanings emotions each person will speak in different slangs and each person will follow different grammar rules so understanding human language for nlp is challenging i'll give some of the main reasons why nlp is challenging for computers and the first challenge is one word many meanings there some words have more than one meaning so computer need to decide which meaning is correct for example if you consider bat either bat mean animal bat or cricket bat nlp need to understand which one we are talking about based on sentence it is challenging part for nlp and second one is grammar rule changing meaning because if we change order of words meaning also changes for example i will say he is eating actually this is answer for example if i write is first like is he eating then it act as question so in order to find correct meaning nlp need to understand grammar rules so nlp need to know correct grammar in order to find correct meaning and third one is slang and short forms as for example all people will not follow same slang for example if you consider telangana telangana people will speak in one slang and andhra pradesh people will speak in other slang so each person will use different slang in order to speak so nlp need to understand slang and short forms Yes, for example, if you consider WhatsApp chatting and Instagram chatting, most of them will use shortcuts. Like instead of typing "how are you," people will type "hey Charlie." So in NLP, need to understand short forms because in chats and messages, most of the people use shortcuts. So understanding slang and short forms is challenging for NLP. And fourth one is need context. That is nothing but situation. As for some sentences, we need to add extra information in order to make computer understand full meaning properly. I'll give one example. For example, I will write, "It is hot," but computer will not understand which is hot, whether coffee is hot or weather is hot or the room is hot. So, if we don't give any context, computer need to understand situation, and then computer need to give right meaning. And fifth one is different languages and accents. People speak in different languages like Telugu, Hindi, English, etc. And in each language, grammar rules and pronunciations are different. So, understanding different languages for NLP is complicated. For example, if you consider English, in English we will read color as C O L O R, and whereas in British we will read color as C O L O U R. So computer need to understand both meanings. And sixth one is no emotions in machines. Thus computers don't have any emotions and feelings. For example, I am very sad. I am crying, and I will say to computer that I am fine in sad tone. As I am crying and I am saying I am fine, computer will really think that I am fine and I am happy. All these are various challenges in NLP. Next, I will explain how NLP will understand a sentence with an example. As yes, for example, I will give sentence to NLP like I am Nagendra Sai and I am from Hyderabad. So in step one, user will give input to computer or mobile, and in step two, NLP will perform tokenization. As yes, tokenization means splitting each word separately is known as tokenization. Whenever I type I am Nagendra Sai and I am from Hyderabad, computer will split each word separately like I am Nagendra Sai. and i am from hyderabad in nlp after performing tokenization that is after separating each word separately and third step is nlp will perform parts of speech tagging in nlp will identify each word like i am in pronoun nagendra sai is noun and hyderabad is noun etc after identifying parts of speech for each word now computer will perform name entity identification if you consider this sentence in this sentence total there are two names one is nagendra sai and next one is hyderabad so now nlp will find important names and places like name nagendra sai which is person name and hyderabad which is location after identifying name entities a computer will understand main meaning like person is saying his name and place and then computer will understand complete sentence finally like name is nagendra sai 
and Parsan is from Hyderabad.